And we are here at Black Hat 2017. I'm here with Joseph Carson, Chief Security Scientist for Thycotic. Joseph, welcome to the show. Is it Joe or Joseph? Um, whichever. Yeah, Joe, Joe, Joseph, depends. Uh, which I'll go with Joe because it's shorter. How about uh, that? I'll respond to both. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, Joe, for our audience, um, what problem does Thycotic solve? So Thycotic solving a real major problem in the industry today. One of the things that has been growing, and we see it from a lot of the reports that comes out, including the Verizon data breach investigations and that of the Semantic Internet Threat Report, what we find is that a lot of the compromises and breaches that are occurring with organizations, almost 80% or more, is actually coming from compromised stolen credentials. Mm -hmm. And what Thycotic provides is we provide a, a secure solution that helps protect and discover all mm -hmm. of those sensitive privilege accounts in the organization that actually are typically used and sought after by uh, cyber criminals and attackers. So we help protect them, we help manage them, discover them, automate the actual password rotation, mm -hmm. and we provide a vault that really allows organizations to then do their job and focus on their business much more easily. So what differentiates you from others in the market? What's your big selling point? One of the biggest selling points for ourselves is that we are very easy, simple to use, mm -hmm. um, quick to install. So actually, one of the things I say today is that if a security solution today takes more than one day to, to install or to get rolled out, you're already in the end game. You're mm -hmm. already kind of, you're, you're too complicated, too long. Yeah. If you can get installed very quickly and easily, then you're already providing advantage for the customer. And our solutions are some of those solutions that are very easy, very quick to install, and at the same time, priced at a very high value. So customers can get it and actually get immediate value from day one once they install it. Yeah, and I think that's important too, and especially when I think about the vault aspect of it. Yeah. Um, as we go into containers and microservices, all those need access to a vault potentially. Correct. So having that infrastructure is important, but having it be quick and easy to deploy and maintainable I think is important because I've even seen in my own deployments, I'm like, well, that container needs that set of credentials. I'm like, well, I, I really need a, a vault. <laughs> Absolutely. One of, the, one of the big advantages that we're providing is, is that, and a, another big difference is, is they provide the, you know, we heard from Alex in the keynote at Black Hat here, mm -hmm. talking about empathy and talking about having to be more human-centric security. Yeah. And that's one of the things we're looking at, in my mind, and my kind of uh, research that I do with Icotic, is I find that, yes, actually, technology needs to help the user, needs to help the employee. Mm -hmm. uh, many, too many times we see, even here at the event, that too many people are pointing the fingers to people, saying they're the, they're the actual cause of the instance, it's human mm -hmm. error, human configuration, mm -hmm. but actually it's not. And we actually have to remember that technology is here to help the employee, to help actually provide them to do the work, and actually the employee in many cases is a victim. Mm -hmm. So what we're looking for is we really want to provide a balance between actually technology and a human, so that... Now also, just uh, what about yeah. machine to machine communications as well and trusts? Same as well, is from that, machine to machine, application mm -hmm. to application, um, hardware to hardware, but it, everything that has an identity, that has an account that needs to actually access a network or access mm -hmm. an application, we cover all of it. So one of the things that we can do is we can actually do IoT devices, mm -hmm. so your Wi-Fi networks, your um, automation systems, your production environments, your power plant, all of those come with credentials. They come with some sort of access mm -hmm. controls. And many of them actually sometimes don't have any additional security you can apply to them. Correct. What we can do is we can take that uh, system, we can take that credential, and then add security controls on top of it, like multi-factor authentication, mm -hmm. like automation workflows, like peer reviews and so forth, and then also rotate the passwords when actually they the system is no longer used or therefore you can reduce the exposures and disclosures. So uh, who's your target market and like when is an organization ready to implement your solution? So one of the things, organizations, well, our target market is pretty much every segment, vector, global. Um, everyone needs every, authentication. Everyone needs authentication and credential, and credential yeah. management. Yeah. Um, sometimes it starts with the size of organization. Sometimes mm -hmm. it's like when well, you have 50 employees are up. Yep. Um, or 100 employees and up, then you really do need to start considering. Mm -hmm. um, so yes, yeah, so we're in that market, um, but everyone needs it. Um, heavily, most organizations which are heavily regulated, they're industry regulated, yep. financial based, um, anything to do with PCI compliance, mm -hmm. NIST standards, all of those really do need the solution. So they're much more proactive at going out and getting it, but we're really here to also help educate the actually that the perimeter itself is no longer a perimeter, it's right. gone. The actual perimeter itself today is data, identities, and the access to those uh, data. How do customers measure success? Some form is return on investment. I almost like to call it success. Like how do you measure walking in front of the camera? How do you measure success? They get your product installed. What's like when customers come back to you and say, wow, I can do this now? So one of the, that's actually one of the fun things about my job is when customers actually install the product. They actually, mm -hmm. They love it so much because what it helps them do, it helps them automate a lot of the things that we had to do manually. It helps them mm -hmm. actually go and actually rotate passwords, create complexity, mm -hmm. and tie it to their password uh, policies and IT policies. 
show compliance, mm -hmm. show automation of actually managing the systems, and it helps them actually focus more on the things that matters that they actually need to do in their job. Focus on actually making sure that the business is able to operate. So they get immediate value in being able to know that those systems are protected, are secured, they are actually are controlled, they have compliance, they have auditability, and also add more security controls to things that they may have not been able to do in the past. Awesome. So it's huge that customers just love the products. Mm -hmm. And when you have a product that you're in that scenario, right now we're in much more industry of actually educating and helping mm -hmm. people know the space and helping them understand about what's the things you need to do as a company in order to actually approach actually doing a privilege account management solution. Awesome, Joe, thank you so much. It's a pleasure to be here and to look forward to doing more in the future. Absolutely. Okay.